we move on to robbers making away with massive amounts of candy. Mm. Police in Garfield Heights say one convenience store has been hit for thousands of dollars in sweets. Yeah, the now's Jennifer Awe joins us now from the Tech Center with more on the so-called candy bandits. Hi, Jennifer. Hey, Karina. Rob, police say that Speedway gas station in Garfield Heights has been robbed more than 20 times since June, and those robberies are now adding up to tens of thousands of dollars lost. I talked to the lead detective in this case, and he told me this investigation indicates multiple people are involved, including juveniles. This man is not stealing money, drugs, jewelry, or even food, just candy. It's not like he came in, they saw him, they called us right away. Garfield Heights police have been working this case for months. We're getting calls after the fact because when they're doing their inventory, you know, then they're discovering the shortage. If you look at the surveillance video, you can see right after the robber walks in, the man with the blue shirt, numerous people also enter. This guy's got a bag, he's shoving all kinds of candy and there's a lot of people in that store. But Detective Philip Heron says there's no good Samaritan in this case. And not one person has ever called us or alerted the store clerk that uh, they were being ripped off. I went to the Speedway on McCracken and Turney Road in Garfield Heights, but the manager refused to speak to us. Detective Heron says police are not having much luck either. As far as getting cooperation from the employees in the store, we're not getting a whole lot of cooperation. Police reiterate more than $20,000 worth of candy has been stolen from this Speedway in Garfield Heights. So where is all of this candy going? They'll either take that candy and resell it to a store. One thing's for sure. He says the robbers are most likely not eating it all. We've gotten information out from other cities that uh, some of these inner city stores are buying the stolen candy for pennies on the dollar and then they're able to resell it and make a bigger profit. News 5 also reported a thief stealing candy at the Speedway in Berea back in July of 2016. Newburgh Heights also confirming a similar robbery earlier this year. The detective admits candy on the black market is becoming a bigger business on the streets. Now, Detective Heron says all of these cases in Berea, Middleburg Heights, and more recently in Garfield Heights could possibly be linked. Middleburg Heights says no arrests have been made in their case, and I have yet to hear back from Berea police. In the Tech Center, I'm Jennifer Awe, reporting for The Now Cleveland.